Hi, my name is Paul Kendall with Vortex Optics, and today we're here with uh, Sportsman's Warehouse, um, just going over a few different things uh, concerning binoculars. And I, th I thought it'd be important maybe to just take a minute to go over, uh, you know, what really makes a binocular worth uh, worth the money, and, and the different steps. You know, you might be able to walk into a store and purchase a pair of binoculars uh, for for under a hundred dollars, two hundred, three hundred, five hundred, on up to to over several thousand dollars and kind of what, what are you gaining. Um, just wanted to talk with you guys a little bit about that. Uh, we have a pair of binoculars here. This is the uh, 10 by 42 uh, Vortex Diamondback. Uh, this binocular is gonna retail in that $230 price range. Great binocular. Uh, and then we have a, a Vortex Viper uh, 10 by 42. So the exact same size, 10 by 42s. Uh, this binocular is going to retail for around $600. So you may be wondering, well, they're, they're the same size, they look pretty similar. What are some of the differences there? Um, really, what, what you're gaining when you step up to the more expensive binocular is, is generally you're going to be uh, getting a, a better glass, uh, better lens coatings. You know, some guys, uh, a good example to use is, is like a, a, a diamond, the carrots of a diamond. I mean, all diamonds are very, you know, they're pretty. Uh, but some diamonds have more carrots, and they are worth worth more money, more sparkle. Um, you know, a pair of binoculars that has better glass, better coatings, even though the numbers are the same, they're both 10 by 42s, uh, the, the more expensive binocular is, is just going to perform better in low light conditions. Um, now, is that, does it mean it's going to be twice as better? No, not, not likely. It's going to be a, a fractional increase in performance. And to a lot of people, that's not that important. Uh, but guys that, that, that hunt a lot, that are spending a lot of time out in the field in low light conditions, that are looking for just those, those small details. Hey, does that, that buck have a cheater on it? Does that, that bird have a, uh, you know, what, what kind of bird is that? Is that a male or a female? Um, something you may want to jump up and spend a little more money on a, on a pair of uh, uh, higher uh, quality optics. Um, not to say that the, the less expensive optics aren't good, but you're just going to have to decide, hey, is it worth the extra money? To, to jump up for that fractional increase in performance. Um, like I say, generally just better glass, better coatings, uh, sometimes a uh, little better durability um, and whatnot. But just, you know, just some things to kind of keep in mind when you're in the, in the store and you're looking at optics in that same size, size category. Why, why spend a little more money and, and get a more expensive pair? So if you have any questions, please stop by our website uh, at sportsmanswarehouse.com or stop by any of the stores and talk to any of the sales associates at the gift bar. They'd be happy to help you. So thanks.